Hi guys, welcome to this session. In this session, we're going to talk about the custom audiences which we can use in the Facebook ads. So custom audiences are going to be the audiences which we are collecting over a period of time from our website. So when people come to our website and they interact with our website, we would like to target them, retarget them with our Facebook ads. So those we can collect through custom audiences feature, which we get in the Facebook ads account. With the help of this feature, we are able to collect the data of the users who are interacting with our website. And now we can follow them with our Facebook ads. When they go to their Facebook accounts, we can target them ads on their Facebook feeds. So that is what we can do with custom audiences with website visitors. So let's have a look at this, guys, how we can set it up on our Facebook ads account. So once we are inside the account, we can go to the left panel where we can go to audiences and here Google uh, Facebook will allow you to create these audiences specifically. So we have three types of audiences which Facebook provides. So the first one which we're going to look at right now is custom audiences. As we spoke, the custom audiences in this, there are two types of sources which we get over here. One is your sources, which is a case wherein these are audiences which is coming through your specific website or let's say app activity, catalog, offline activity or customer list. So when people are interacting with your website, we can collect their data. Customer list can be uh, if you have collected customers information like their first name, last name, email address, we can target them with Facebook ads. Other than that, if people have interacted with your app, in that case, we are able to collect their data and we can target them as well. Also, if you have set up some offline activity, some event, Facebook event, which you have done and where people have attended those events, we can reach out to them as well and retarget them with Facebook ads. Other than that, we have catalog wherein we can target people with our catalog of products through our Facebook ads option, which we get here. So these are all going to be sources coming through our audiences, people who have interacted with our business. So this is first option. The other option is meta sources. Meta sources is basically all the audiences which, may, which Meta or Facebook has collected over a period of time. When people come to Facebook and they open an account with them, so they provide a lot of their details. So that audience targeting becomes our meta source custom audience. So here we are going to look at the your sources section. So let's see this. So here what you can do is you can select your website. Let's say we are doing your sources. And then we can go ahead and set up this website custom audience. So in this, we are going to target any type of criteria which we are setting up out here. So the first is the source. The source is basically the Facebook pixel, which has been set up on our website, which is going to collect all the uh, audience data, their IP addresses or cookies, which we are able to target. Then you can set up the event. So in this case, we are focusing on those audiences who interact with our website. So we can say all website visitors, or there are other options as well, like people who are visiting specific pages of our website. So this option also we will see. Other than this, we can also have a look at the visitors by time spent, how much time they have spent on the website. Based on that also, you can target. So these are the options which you get in events. And then you can look at retention. Retention is the period for which you are going to follow these users. Okay. So you can, the default uh, days which Facebook gives you is 30 days. The maximum you can do here is 180 days, which is like six months. You can retarget people. Other than that, Facebook also gives you the option to include more people. So if you want to create a combination, you can do that with an or function over here, which basically means that we will not only target people over here, which is website visitors, we can also add more other options as well. So it's like a combination which we are creating now with the help of this. So that's another feature which you get. In addition to that, you also have option to use exclude people. So this can be uh, audiences whom you don't want to retarget that also you can combine over here. So we'll see different scenarios of this as well. Okay. So these are all the combinations guys, which we can make out here 
And then finally, you can go ahead and give a name to your audience and give a description of what kind of audience you're trying to retarget. So let's take a uh, situation wherein, let's say I'm into selling products and I want to target those users who come to my product page, they check out my product, but now once after selecting my product, when they go to the checkout page, they don't purchase. So now I want to retarget such kind of users. So what I can do is since it's, they are coming to a specific page of my website and not all pages. So I'm going to choose the second option, which is people who visited specific web pages. And here I can say that the URL of the product page, which has a specific keyword over there, let's say I'm selling an iPhone 15. So let's say this is the keyword which we are adding. So what we are saying is people who are specifically coming to my iPhone 15 page, okay, uh, we would like to target them. However, uh, they are these people who are checking out the product, but then they are not purchasing from uh, the checkout page. So in such a situation, I can go ahead and exclude those people. Okay, exclude those people who are coming to the checkout page and not purchasing. So I will remove those people specifically. Or what I can do is I will include those people who are coming to the checkout page as well because they came to the particular iPhone 15 page and then they went to the checkout page as well, but now they have not purchased. So I would like to go ahead and select that also. So here I can choose the page which has checkout in it. So now this becomes a combination which we have created wherein I want to target those users who are been to my website, they checked out the product, they selected it, went to the checkout page as well, but did not convert. So this becomes a kind of a custom audience which I have now set up and I can give it a name as well. And then if I want to describe this audience, I can do that and create this particular audience. So this is becoming a website conversions, which we have created right now for iPhone customers. So this is how guys custom audiences gets created out here inside the Facebook ads account. Once you do this, now you can go back to your campaign and you can select this audience and you can target them inside your campaign. I hope this makes sense. And now you understand how we can make use of custom audiences inside the Facebook ads campaign. Thank you so much guys for listening into this session today. And I will see you in the next video.